I'm going to show you what to do if your pattern says slip a stitch. All you do if it says slip a stitch knitwise, you put your needle in the stitch as though you were going to knit it and you simply pull it off onto the other needle and you continue knitting. If it says slip a stitch purlwise, you're going to put your needle in front as though you're going to purl it slip it off onto the other needle and continue knitting. If it says knit one, slip one, knit one, you're going to do that and you're going to take the slip stitch off and pass it over to the other needle. If it doesn't specify how it wants you to slip the stitch, if it doesn't say knitwise or purlwise, generally you just do it as though you're going to knit it. Slip it off onto the other needle and continue on. Then when you're ready to turn the work around, purl back. I'll show you that now. Just purl back. There's the slipped stitch. We're going to purl it as though it were a regularly knitted stitch. Going to keep going till we come to our next slipped stitch and we're going to then purl that off as though it were a normal stitch. And here it is. So we're just going to purl it and keep on going. There are a lot of patterns that call for slipped stitches and now you know how to do it.